Okay, so I'm here to review the Fantastic Four uh, movie that just came out. And, uh, yeah, it's as bad as people have been saying it is. Um, that being said, that there, what, there, is, there are some interesting elements, but it's pretty, pretty bad. Um, so the story, so this will be a spoiler review. Um, I doubt any of you who care very much about the spoilers. But I will be spoiling this movie. Um, I should also point out that I did not go see this movie in the cinema. So, the, I might um, get a few things wrong. Um, in regards to some of the characters, because how I watched it didn't have a really clear view. Um, so let's get on with this review. So the story basically is, um, and Reed is, Reed when he was younger, back in like 2007, built a device that essentially um, allowed interdimensional travel to be possible. And he's like this super genius who, um, who again builds this device and when he's older he's um, taken in by um, Franklin Storm, who is a big, important person who is trying to um, build interdimensional travel. And um, basically, Reed is given a scholarship um, to study and build this device. And he is joined together by Reed Richards. Um, um, sorry, he's joined by um, Sue Storm, um, Johnny Storm, and Doctor Doom as the three main scientists working on this project. So after building the, the device, um, the government basically decide they want to put NASA onto the project and um, the basically the guys all disagree with this so um, Ben Grimm, Dr. Doom, uh, Reed Richards and Human Torch all go to what's essentially the negative zone um, they don't call it the negative zone in this m movie, they call it Planet Zero, which is a ridiculous name. Um, so they go there, um, an accident happens which grants them their powers, and you essentially have your movie foundation. Um... And basically, then the kids are basically used as test subjects, and then you have your major big fight scene. Um, so, there are several reasons why this movie fails in... fails as a movie. Um, Josh Tra uh, the director who, um, did this movie, is the same director who, who did Chronicle. And essentially, um, you know, Chronicle was a really, really good movie. And this movie had huge potential. Like, I will admit, I am a lover of the Fantastic Four that was made in, like, 2005, 2006, um, 
the Fantastic Four with um, Michael Sanks, um, Chris Evans, Jessica Alba. Um, that m movie is one of my favourite um, superhero movies. So I am initially biased when it comes to um, Fantastic Four movies because I really, really loved that movie. Um, but Josh, um, but but sorry, the director um, really, really, I believe the director really tried to create a good movie. Like I don't think. A director sets out to make a bad movie. But somehow this happened. Like, there were interesting elements about the story. Like, the uh, the idea of children paving way for the future was a really, really good theme in the movie. Um, the idea of children being used as weapons really good idea. Um, and there was some, but the problem is, there were huge missed opportunities. Um, but, but there were huge missed opportunities. Um, nothing was done with the characters. Um, Doctor Doom looked crap. And... Johnny Storm, frankly, didn't need to be black. Um, Sue Storm didn't need to be white. There was nothing done with the adoption angle at all. Like, we have no character background. Like, we don't know who Sue Storm is as a character, where she comes from. Um, we have no idea why Johnny Storm is the way he is. And there's just nothing done with these characters. And unfortunately, the script does something which no script should do. It tells rather than shows. A number one rule in, movie, in movies is that you show, don't tell. And this movie does a lot of telling, but nothing in regards to showing. And that to me is really, really bad. Um, and it just does not work. Um, and just, the movie just fails on all levels. Like, it, it sets up really interesting ideas, but... It doesn't do anything with them. Um, like, it sets things up, but then lets it slide. Um, I really, really liked um, Sue Storm's powers, and I thought the way Sue Storm's powers worked in this movie was really, really comic book. Um, Sue Storm used her powers to levitate the team. Um, it was done really, really well. But other than that, I thought the powers um, that the team portrayed weren't, weren't very visually appealing. Like, the thing spends half of his time without any pants on. Like, He's just got no pants on. I find that bizarre. Because in the comic book, he wears pants. And I just, I really, really don't understand why he doesn't wear any pants. I find that very, very weird. Um, I thought Reed's powers were, eh, um, yeah, I thought Reed's powers were really eh, and, um, 
they do, there is a very, very interesting fight scene, but again, his powers were more fully explored in, um, in the previous franchise, um, where Reed actually used his powers a lot, lot more. Uh, the Human Torch's powers wasn't anywhere near close to Chris Evans' portrayal of the character. And then we get get up to Doctor Doom, who is essentially crap. Like, I don't know what the hell they were thinking when they did Doctor Doom. That was not Doctor Doom. If you want Doctor Doom, go back to the previous franchise of the of the of the Fantastic Four with Jessica Alba. Because this movie does not do Doctor Doom justice. Doctor Doom is an amazingly important character in the realm of the Fantastic F in the realm of the Marvel comics. Like currently, Doctor Doom is a god in Secret Wars. That's the level of that character. And again, he's a hacker who basically um, wants to save the planet. Um, and he basically has this really negative view on... And it's implied quite a lot that the world um, is on the verge of destroying itself. But none of that is really portrayed in the movie. Um, like, how is the world being destroyed? Like, it looks fine to me. It looks like how we live now. Is it because there are mutants in the world? Like, and that is another point. And um, nothing from the X-Men franchise was used to build into the mythology of this universe. And again, all in all guys, so many missed opportunities that made this movie just fall apart at the seams. Um, like, I felt they could have made Reed Richards into the main villain. Or, use Mole Man um, a bit more. Like, because Mole Man did appear as um, a figurehead for the government. But he wasn't the main villain, and he was killed ridiculously um, quickly. Um, and just all in all, guys, don't waste your time seeing this movie, um, because it's it's rubbish. It's actually rubbish. If you're curious about the movie, go find it online when you, where you're not buying a ticket for this crap. Because I'm sorry, guys, but this movie is crap. Um, and again, it has so many missed opportunity that could have made this movie great. So, all in all guys, don't bother s seeing the movie. Um, yeah. Um, so I'm gonna leave off this review here. Um, the next film I'm going to go see is hopefully Mission Impossible Rogue Nation. Um, so that's the next movie that I'm going to, going to go see. So I'm Robin That's One here, and I shall see you all very soon for the next review. Bye.